Chakris Amida, or Morning Prayer, by Unknown, translated by Simeon Singer. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and revered God, the Most High God, who bestowest loving kindnesses, and possessest all things, who rememberest the pious deeds of the patriarchs, and in love wilt bring a Redeemer to their children's children for thy name's sake. O King, Helper, Saviour, and Shield! Blessed art thou, O Lord, the shield of Abraham! Thou, O Lord, art mighty for ever, thou quickenest the dead, thou art mighty to save. Thou sustainest the living with loving kindness, quickenest the dead with great mercy, supportest the falling, healest the sick, loosest the bound, and keepest thy faith to them that sleep in the dust. Who is like unto thee, Lord of mighty acts, and who resembleth thee, O King, who killest and quickenest, and causest salvation to spring forth? Who is like unto thee, Father of mercy, who in mercy rememberest thy creatures unto life? Yea, faithful art thou to quicken the dead. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who quickenest the dead. Thou art holy, and thy name is holy, and holy beings praise thee daily. Selah. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the holy God. We will sanctify thy name in the world, even as they sanctify it in the highest heavens, as it is written by the hand of thy prophet. And they called one unto the other, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. Those over against them say, Blessed, blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. And in thy holy words it is written, saying, The Lord shall reign for ever, thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Unto all generations we will declare thy greatness, and to all eternity we will proclaim thy holiness. And thy praise, O our God, shall not depart from our mouth for ever, for thou art a great and holy God and King. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the holy God. Thou favorest man with knowledge, and teachest mortals understanding. O favor us with knowledge, understanding, and discernment from thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, gracious giver of knowledge. Cause us to return, O our Father, unto thy law. Draw us near, O our King, unto thy service, and bring us back in perfect repentance unto thy presence. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who delightest in repentance. Forgive us, O our Father, for we have sinned. Pardon us, O our King, for we have transgressed, for thou dost pardon and forgive. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who art gracious, and dost abundantly forgive. Look upon our affliction, and plead our cause, and redeem us speedily for thy name's sake, for thou art a mighty Redeemer. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the Redeemer of Israel. Heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Save us, and we shall be saved, for thou art our praise. Vouchsafe a perfect healing to all our wounds, for thou, Almighty King, art a faithful and merciful physician. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who healest the sick of thy people Israel. Bless this year unto us, O Lord our God, together with every kind of the produce thereof, for our welfare. Give us a blessing upon the face of the earth. O oh, satisfy us with thy goodness, and bless our year like other good years. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who blessest the years. Sound the great horn of our freedom. Lift up the ensign to gather our exiles, and gather us from the four corners of the earth. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who gatherest the banished ones of thy people Israel. Restore our judges as at the first, and our counsellors as at the beginning. Remove from us grief and suffering. Reign thou over us, O Lord, thou alone, in loving kindness and tender mercy, and justify us in judgment. 
Blessed art thou, O Lord, the King who lovest righteousness and judgment. And for slanderers, let there be no hope, and let all wickedness perish as in a moment. Let all thine enemies be speedily cut off, and the dominion of arrogance do thou uproot and crush, cast down and humble speedily in our days. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who breakest the enemies and humblest the arrogant. Towards the righteous and the pious, towards the elders of thy people, the house of Israel, towards the remnant of their scribes, towards the proselytes of righteousness, and towards us also, may thy tender mercies be stirred, O Lord our God. Grant a good reward unto all who faithfully trust in thy name. Set our portion with them for ever, so that we may not be put to shame. For we have trusted in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the stay and trust of the righteous. And to Jerusalem, thy city, return in mercy, and dwell therein as thou hast spoken. Rebuild it soon in our days as an everlasting building, and speedily set up therein the throne of David. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who rebuildest Jerusalem. Speedily cause the offspring of David thy servant to flourish, and let his horn be exalted by thy salvation, because we wait for thy salvation all the day. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who causest the horn of salvation to flourish. Hear our voice, O Lord our God, spare us and have mercy upon us, and accept our prayer in mercy and favor. For thou art a God who hearkenest unto prayers and supplications. From thy presence, O our King, turn us not empty away. For thou hearkenest in mercy to the prayer of thy people Israel. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who hearkenest unto prayer. Accept, O Lord our God, thy people Israel and their prayer. Restore the service to the oracle of thy house. Receive in love and favor both the fire offerings of Israel and their prayer. And may the service of thy people Israel be ever acceptable unto thee. Remember us, O Lord our God, thereon for our well-being. Be mindful of us for blessing, and save us unto life. By thy promise of salvation and mercy, spare us and be gracious unto us. Have mercy upon us and save us, for our eyes are bent upon thee, because thou art a gracious and merciful God and King. And let our eyes behold thy return in mercy to Zion. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who restorest thy divine presence unto Zion. We give thanks unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God, and the God of our fathers, for ever and ever. Thou art the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation through every generation. We will give thanks unto thee, and declare thy praise for our lives which are committed unto thy hand, and for our souls which are in thy charge, and for thy miracles which are daily with us, and for thy wonders and thy benefits which are wrought at all times, evening, morn, and noon. O thou who art all good, whose mercies fail not, thou merciful being, whose loving kindnesses never cease, we have ever hoped in thee. For all these things thy name, O our King, shall be continually blessed and exalted for ever and ever. And everything that liveth shall give thanks unto thee for ever, and shall praise thy name in truth, O God, our salvation and our help. Blessed art thou, O Lord, whose name is all good, and unto whom it is becoming to give thanks. Our God and God of our fathers, bless us with the threefold blessing of thy law written by the hand of Moses thy servant, which was spoken by Aaron and his sons, the priests, thy holy people, as it is said, The Lord bless thee and keep thee, the Lord make his face to shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord turn his face unto thee, and give thee peace. Grant peace, welfare, blessing, grace, loving kindness, and mercy unto us and unto all Israel, thy people. Bless us, O our Father, even all of us together, with the light of thy countenance. For by the light of thy countenance thou hast given us, O Lord our God, the law of life, loving kindness, and righteousness, blessing, mercy, life, and peace. And may it be good in thy sight to bless thy people Israel at all times and in every hour with thy peace. 
Blessed art thou, O Lord, who blessest thy people Israel with peace. O my God, guard my tongue from evil, and my lips from speaking guile. And to such as curse me, let my soul be dumb, yea, let my soul be unto all as the dust. Open my heart to thy law, and let my soul pursue thy commandments. If any design evil against me, speedily make their counsel of none effect, and frustrate their designs. Do it for the sake of thy name, do it for the sake of thy right hand, do it for the sake of thy holiness, do it for the sake of thy law. In order that thy beloved ones may be delivered, O oh, save with thy right hand and answer me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before thee, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. He who maketh peace in his high places, may he make peace for us and for all Israel, and say ye, Amen. May it be thy will, O Lord our God and God of our fathers, that the temple be speedily rebuilt in our days, and grant our portion in thy law. And there we will serve thee with awe, as in the days of old, and as in ancient years. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in ancient years. End of Shakris Amida by Unknown, translated by Simeon Singer.